hello guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is on how to do a stitch fitting braid on um little kit so as you can see she's all natural and i'm just um parting her hair um uh, before um applying product to define um my parts so i'm just coming it out right now to make sure there is no tangling just to make it um easier to braid it and i'm putting away the rest of the hair um, so it's not getting in the way and as you can see she has a very um, small and weak edges due to um, the styles um, she's had in the past so guys I will be honest with you I will never ever ever recommend um, crochet style on little kids because um, she I've done crochet on her in the past um, just because um, someone who is um, always very busy so i was look i'm always looking for a style uh, that would uh, last longer for a while before i um, get to do her hair again so i was trying to um put her in, in crochet i mean in crochet styles um i think it was around um last year and by the time i knew what was happening uh, of course a lot is lasted um for a while but by the time i take it out let's say like around a month or um six weeks after when i take it out and um, the eyes that i've left the crochet in is like six weeks and by the time i took out the crochet hair i realized it was pulling out a hair i mean the tension um from the crochet hair i guess because they are kids their hair is still very um soft so if you are um braiding um little kids hair i would recommend if possible not to have any hair and if you are to have hair um to make it last longer um uh, make sure you're you start braiding with their natural hair before adding an extension and i would never ever recommend um crochet for um little children it's just not healthy uh, for their hair by the time i knew what was happening all our edges and the front and back are gone like the only places that she has hair was in the middle of her hair just because the middle is um thicker than the edges and the and the back i mean the um 360 shape of her hair was gone like it was terrible guys so if you are um a busy mom like me and you are um looking for a style uh, that will last longer if you're sure you're not uh, gonna be able to do it, just i would rather just put it up in a ponytail like the natural hair that looking for a style that will last longer and at the end of the day um you're damaging their natural hair like i don't know i just hope hope and hope i just hope and pray it grows back um with time and i honestly don't trust any hair growth um product out there so i've just been um making sure to moisturize it and to do um protective styles um that it's not too heavy um for her hair i did the stitch feeding braids um a couple of um weeks ago and it's uh i noticed when i took it out i noticed some growth so i'm like okay uh, i think i'll just keep um doing this for now since it's not too um uh, heavy on a scalp and she really likes it as well so uh, let me know what you guys um, used. Um, if you have a child, let me know what you use um, when it comes to hair growth. What treatments do you use? What uh, technique or what products do you recommend um, out there in the comment section? So, so the last time I did it, um, it was just um, the four stitch braid without the small ones in the middle. I posted it on Instagram and everyone um, likes it and i totally forgot um to record so i'm like this time around i'm just gonna record it um for you guys just to also let you guys know that um kids can get um stitch braids because i've seen comments of people saying it's too tight uh where they got it done i don't i'm not sure because um everyone is braids um differently and i understand the fact that some people are heavy ended and also some people are uh, tender edit so um when i first time uh the first time i did this i was actually i actually thought she was gonna like be screaming crying and all that and to my surprise i she sat down through the whole process and she really really loves it so i'm like wow so i'm just gonna keep um doing this for now since i noticed some hair growth 
when I took it out um, the last time. So let me know if you've ever gotten a um, stitch braid before and what do you think about it? Do you think it's tighter than the regular um, feeding or con little braids or do you think there's no difference? I would like to see your thoughts so leave me a comment down below. Right now I'm done braiding I'm just gonna apply uh, the satin lotion on her hair and then I'm just gonna mold it down with the wrapping um, paper and I will be sure to link all the products used in this tutorial in the description um, down below so please check it out I'll also put in a link um, to where you can get it um, you can get almost everything on amazon.com so Check out the description button down below to see all the products used in this tutorial. So I'm just trimming it and I'm just going to um, use uh, my lighter to trim the hands. Just the uh, raggedy hair hanging out, not her real hair, not the natural hair. So this is just to make it um, neater. Uh, and then I'm just going to put the hands in um, out water. So that's pretty much it. 
for this tutorial and I will show you guys the finished look. Stay tuned. And here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you like this tutorial, uh, please click the like button. Also, please uh, comment down below to let me you know your thoughts. Uh, if you're not able to comment, it means um, YouTube disabled um, the comment section. But if you're able to comment, please leave me a comment um, down below. Sometimes they um, disable the comments if um, a minority is um, in the video so I'm not sure but if you're able to comment please leave me a comment down below and if you're not able to comment please click the like button thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I will see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe also please turn on the notification bell that's way you don't miss a thing my Instagram and Facebook account page is at Soda112. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you. Bye.